to all, to all of our members around the world, I bring you fraternal greetings from our class-oriented World Federation of Trade Union, which represents 105 million members. The pandemic is still causing havoc around the world. Despite this, our Federation is going to hold its 18th Congress in Rome. When it comes to this venue and this country, we want to hold our press regret because this is where we rewrite the history of this federation. We're coming home. Remember, the second Congress from the first Congress of WFTU was held in this town, was hosted by these comrades, and we, have, we pay our gratitude to them. The Congress is going to discuss crucial issues affecting the working class around the world, including, but not limited to, globally geopolitical situation, imperialism and its impact on workers, governments and management of economic crisis, and the consequences on workers militarization of the world led by the US and its allies, NATO and EU, the state of our union around the world, and solidarity campaigns. These solidarity campaigns must be renewed with vigor in an assistance with shoulder to shoulder with countries that I need and people that I need and the working class at large. And in this case, we talk about people of Palestine as our long-term struggle. In this case, we talk about people of Syria, Iraq, Iran, Libya. I therefore ask all of you to rally behind our federation, WFTU, in making this Congress a success. Lastly, we want, we want to pledge our unwavering solidarity workers and people of both Russia and Ukraine that find themselves into the middle of imperialist war provoked by US and EU and NATO. Long live WFTU, long live working class oriented World Federation of Trade Union. Amanda.